All right, hey, what is going on, guys? Today, we are going to be reviewing the Rocat Burst Pro Gaming Mouse. Now, as you may or may not know, that Rocat and Turtle Beach, they sent me out a package where they sent me out two headsets, a mouse, a mouse pad, and a Vulcan Pro Gaming keyboard. Now, I made a review about this last video. If you haven't seen that out, check it up here in the card, or it's down in the description. But uh, today, let's review this Rocat Burst Pro Gaming Mouse. All right, so this is the Vulcan Pro 100% gaming keyboard. I made a review about this. This is a really good gaming keyboard. But today, we're going to review the Brocat Burst Pro Gaming Mouse. So this is the mouse I currently have. It is a, I think, $15 to $20 PicTech gaming mouse. It's uh, DPI changeable. It goes up to 7200 DPI. And it's color changeable as well. All right, so the link to the Vulcan Pro Gaming Keyboard and this mouse right here is all in the description along with the Rocat Burst Pro. But today, we're going to be unboxing it. So we started, it started off like this. Pretty cool packaging uh, with some tape on the side. Open it. All right, let's open it. So it comes like this. And uh, from the first impression of the box itself, it looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie, it looks like a good gaming mouse. You can see here, 68 grams. Let's adjust that a little bit. 68 grams, extremely lightweight. 100 million click life cycle and 16.8 million different color changeable and 16,000 DPI. That is really cool. Um, it says optical speed, great performance. It's very lightweight. And there's the Phantom Flex cable, which is pretty cool. And then there's a Titan switch optical. So this is the same switches that is in the Vulcan Pro gaming keyboard, which is why these switches or these clicks can last up to a hundred million. All right, we're gonna open it and see what everything is about. All right, so when you open it, it comes in this little gray box and then it comes with a manual as well. Is that a sticker? It might be, yeah. It comes with the quick installation guide with, for the software and stickers. All right, so this is what it, all right, <laughs> this is what it comes in as you see like this. Um, this actually, if you if you just l take a look at this, uh, this is pretty cool. I think you have USB thing right here. Uh, even on the Pro Gaming keyboard, it's the same braided cable. It feels good. There's an animation or something like that. Vulcan Rocat logo. And uh, yeah, now let's see what the mouse. All right, so this is the mouse. Wow, that is extremely lightweight. Like I have my other mouse right here. If you see, I don't, I don't you, you, get, you guys can tell the difference, but like it's, it, this is more heavier. This is super lightweight. Like I can just, it's so lightweight. Um, and then here there's like a sleek design. So I can just, if I, my mouse pad is not the best. I'm also going to be unboxing the Rocat AIMO mouse pad. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to test the glide on there. This mouse pad is not the best, um, but the glide on this is pretty good as well. There's also these side buttons for, I think, forward tab, back a tab. Uh, if you, let's hear that real quick. Uh, yeah, that's the the Titan switches. That's why it can last up to a hundred million. The scroll on this, it's normal. It's a normal scroll. And then this is a DPI changer. Um, yeah, I think you can change it somehow. Uh, and yeah, let's plug it into our computer. So this is what it is. So as you can see, this is Vulcan Pro Gaming Keyboard and the Burst Pro Gaming Mouse. So this is the mouse right here. Um, so right off the bat, I mean. First of all, it looks like the Glorious Model O or any of those kind of mouses, mice. <laughs> um, but without doing any color changing, anything, when I just plugged it in, it just goes from color to color like this. And uh, there's like panels on the back, so those look really cool. And then there's a scroll wheel. There's color there as well. Um, not gonna lie, it feels really good when I'm using it, you know. And I'll launch a Fortnite and I'll show you guys that as well. Um, it's only for right-handed people, so that's that. Um, and without adjusting the DPI up here, so as you can see, I can switch the DPI. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to change any of that right now. 
But as you can see, if I just go, basically the DPI button right here, and like change the DPI, uh, how much you want it. You can also change the pointer speed. I don't really know what that is, but we'll get to that. And then here is what everybody wanted to see, the AIMO, Intelligent Lighting System. So basically, um, what this cool thing is, is that this keyboard right here and this mouse, I can, I can sync them kind of. Like right now it's just going between colors. And I think this one is also going just between colors as well, pretty much. But if I want to, I can sync them. Uh, I can change the bright, I can like change it to only this color. Actually, let's try that. Okay, so we'll click here. This is kind of the same thing, wave, fully lit, heartbeat, and blinking. So we'll, we'll click wave, uh, and then it'll go. No, I, I, I didn't click apply it, so it's not gonna show anything yet. Okay, uh, let's just say fully lit. Custom, okay, and I can change the color for the, both of these. So I'm gonna change this to I don't know, whitish or whitish, mostly white, a little bit of gray. I can, I can change the color scale. That's really cool, really handy thing. Um, let's click that, and then here I'm just gonna click bluish, bluish, that kind of. Here, click apply. It darkens out for a second. That's what it is. So it's white. There's blue, and it just stays like that, I guess. And I can also have it blinking. I can also have blinking. That's, uh, it's, it's gonna be like that. Then I can change the speed and everything, but not gonna lie, this is really cool. The software, I love it. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys, so I'm in Fortnite right now in creative, and, you know, I am an Xbox player, but I've practiced on keyboard and mouse once or twice, so I'm gonna show you some weird 90s. Okay, so basically, um, this is like the lowest DPI kind of. Okay, never mind. Yeah, lowest DPI. That's pretty cool. Um, and then let's go a little bit higher. If I go, and you can just easily crank 90s. You know, remember, I'm I'm an Xbox player. Okay, I don't crank 90s on PC. Um, but and then if I go a little bit higher DPI, I can. That's it's it's like it's, it's that fast, right? And if you're a good player on PC, you know, it's it's really smooth as well. As you can see, it's like really lightweight. I can show like, you know, it's it's really lightweight. You can change the API. I love this mouse. But honestly, guys, if you guys are in the market for buying a high quality gaming mouse, I definitely recommend the Rocat Burst Pro. It's really good. It's really sleek. It's really lightweight. It's fully customizable. You can change what every color does. And if you get the Vulcan Pro keyboard and all of the other accessories, you can do AIMO, which is really cool. Um, and you can customize the colors. That's pretty cool as well. But all in all, I would say my final thoughts on the mouse, it's an amazing mouse. So if you guys want to see a review for the Rocat Sense AIMO XXL mouse pad, the Rocat ELO 7.1 Air gaming headset and the Elite Pro 2 performance gaming headset. If you guys want to see a review for any of these products, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and uh, I'll see you next time.